Alright, let's try this again. I'm gonna show you guys my... one of my favorite methods of making money in Star Citizen at the moment. Uh, this video was made in June of 2022, so keep that in mind. Uh, if this has been on the channel for a little while, Star Citizen is a game that changes, uh, usually four times a year with the quarterly updates, and they do change missions and rewards, and I think there is even quick fixes and hot fixes that get put in um, to change mission rewards and stuff, so I don't want to uh, see in the comments, like, oh, I didn't make a bajillion dollars like you said I would. Um, but no, really, I mean, I've done this a couple times. With the exception of the caves kind of being a bit jank at the moment, um, especially the jump puzzles, um, this is a good mission to make money with. If I can find the entrance of the cave. There she is. My landing gear is down. Is it? I can't ever... No, it's not. Is it? No? Yes. Now it is. Uh, you're probably, or you might be wondering why I am flying this particular ship. There's no real reason. Um, I wanted to get here quickly. It's one of the reasons I'm flying it. Uh, but really, it was just what was convenient. I forgot to store my constellation. It's because it, you know how the game is. <sighs> so, you might be asking yourself, I don't know if you've seen the contract that I'm working here. Uh, just a simple uh, unknown risk bounty. Uh, one of the FPS missions down in the cave. Um, you should be able to get these pretty early on. Um, just do some crusader security stuff, do some bounty missions, and you'll unlock them. Uh, but the same stuff applies, right, to all of the cave missions. So, um, in here, we're gonna find these men. Kill these men. Should be two here. Um, these missions are very reliable. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, um, there is not a plethora of different cave layouts in the game right now. In fact, I think it might just be one. If it's not one, it's probably only like two. Um, so the negative being, you know, there's not a ton of different places uh, to go do this mission type, but the positive being once you've done it a few times, you know exactly where you're going each time. Uh, and you can get this down to a pretty quick science. So you can see here, I'm opening the uh, armor components on these guys because, as you can tell, they have gemstones, the hand mineables. Um, and just from doing one of these bounties, which has its own $25,000 uh, reward, 25,000 alpha UEC reward, um, just by doing this, I'll get the money for the reward. Fucker. And I will also get all of the money when I sell all this. Why do you reload empty mags? Like, if these guys didn't have some mental problems, I'd be dead at this point. It's one thing I'd really like to see. AI needs to get a lot more consistent, uh, the FPS AI. It is all over the place right now in terms of whether they will be locked onto you right away uh, from a pretty decent distance when they do decide to shoot you. Um, be aware that they will kill you extremely quickly. Make sure to look around, make sure there's no one else in the room before you go to loot the guys you killed, that's important. There's nothing worse than being stuck in the inventory getting shot in your back. But yeah, if you clear, <clears throat> make sure to get a backpack before you come do this. Make sure to have, I like to have, you know, med tools, uh, med pen. Um, I bring some extra food and water because you just never know. Sometimes you can get stuck in these caves if you're not careful. Um, 
usually you can get out of it, but sometimes it could take a little bit for you to get out of it. So um, being prepared, bring in some food and water. Now there usually is food and water spawns um, in the different boxes and crates, but you know, you never know. Star Citizen's, uh, let's just say an alpha. Uh, so there's a lot of times where a mechanic should work or it shouldn't be impossible to find fruit or water down here, but um, a good example of what could bug that is occasionally these crates, um, if you play around with your inventory too much, or I don't know, maybe it's based on the server connection, I'm not quite sure, but if you're not careful, uh, the inventory will bug out. Uh, you'll just get continuous loading screens instead of the screen you see here of me moving items across. Um, you'll see too, there's a ton of shit in these crates. Um, you know, if you want to bring a cargo box down here and try to load it all up, that's up to you. Uh, I've found that really the only thing worth taking is the mineables. Um, you will see these white boxes around, and uh, occasionally those white boxes will have some pretty cool armors in them. Uh, so those ones right there. If you see any of those, it's worth checking them. There's sometimes subscriber armors, subscriber helmets, like those are specialist arms. I'm not really going to worry about them though. When I first started playing Star Citizen again, I used to literally check... Did I already loot this one? I used to check every crate and take every piece of armor I possibly could. And then, um, when the character soft resets happened at the start of the event, and they move all of your stuff to one location during those soft resets, I realized I was hoarding absurd amounts of armor. Um, so I don't loot armor as much anymore. Uh, it's not as profitable as the hand materials. Uh, every once in a while, if you're running low on armor, go do a bunker mission, load up the back of your ship with dead guys, uh, and then go store it all in Port Alisar or your space station of choice. You know, you don't have to worry about getting every single guy. Um, you, you're definitely going to fill your inventory doing this. Um, what I like to do, though, is as I'm going down, I, I do loot each of them as I do it, uh, just so that when I get to the bottom, I have 99 or 100 or whatever percent inventory. Um, but I like it to be nice and high. Um, the one thing you do want to watch out for is sometimes towards the end of the cave systems, you'll run upon those um, white boxes. Or even a different type of box uh, and sometimes those will have those subscriber items in them so really it's up to you right you know if, if you want um, to loot a bunch of undersuits and armor and all that stuff um, just be aware uh, the backpacks in this game are shockingly small so if, if you're trying to make money go for the mineables if you're trying to um, build up an armor stash so you don't have to buy it anymore uh, get the guys um, you can do both like, you could kill the first couple guys at the entrance, drag them up to your ship, or use the uh, multi-tool to move them up to your ship, and then head down and get the mineables. Uh, a nice tip, too, is, for whatever reason, I don't know if this is intentional, or if it's a bug at the moment, or it's just how they have the missions set up, I'm not sure, but um, you... The only guns these guys really carry is this Custodian SMG I have, and then a shotgun. So I like to bring two or three mags um, for the Custodian, and then like a cheap, easy to find gun. I'll kill one or two guys with that cheap or easy to find gun, like a pistol, or one of the basic assault rifles, uh, and then grab the SMG that they drop, and I already have mags, and I'm good to go. Do not rely upon um, mags being on the guys bodies there is the vast majority of the time i do not find ammunition uh, on these guys when i kill them not on their bodies not in their backpacks so running out of ammo down here can suck especially if you want to find a mission if that does ever happen to you don't freak out go um, backwards find one of the guns on the ground from one of the guys you killed pray it's not a shotgun because the shotgun is useless but yeah, I've done that before, where I literally have no ammo, so I'm just killing each guy with each gun I pick up, dropping the gun, picking up the next dead guy's gun, just 
rinse and repeat until I can clear the whole cave. You'll see a lot of multi-tools and mining attachments too. Um, yet again, that's a optional thing uh, for the money-making component of it. Really the only thing that makes you very much money is the um, mineables, like I said. What? Okay. So right there is the jump puzzle. So as you saw, I sprinted, jumped from right here, landed right there, and then a little jump over. If you try to sprint and jump to either of these, more often than not, you're gonna fall down here. Now you can see there's these yellow ledges. That's how you get up. Star Citizen being Star Citizen, uh, the movement mechanics right now don't work super well. Oh, let me get rid of my chat. I've had that up the whole time. Um, but yeah, the, the mining or the movement mechanics are not great. If you do find yourself stuck down there, put your gun away, you know, hold F, do that, uh, carry your gun holstered, and then jump up while looking straight up in the air and just keep hitting space, eventually you'll mantle. Do be careful. There's usually quite a few guys in this room, at least three or four. Um, and once you start taking them out, sometimes they will start running and maneuvering on you. Um, that's really the only time Star Citizen's AI is that is dangerous. Uh, either that or the bunker missions when they will uh, spawn behind you or. I've seen it before too, where they hide in the bunkers basically, so they're like hiding behind a box, you're clearing corners, you run through the bunker, you don't see them, and they end up just shooting you in the back. So, obviously we want to avoid being shot in the back as much as possible. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like being shot in my back. So we're only at 35%, we actually haven't been finding that much. Um, I think with these guys in this room, and then the last couple guys where the bounty actually is, I think we'll fill up. See? Where the hell were those two guys before? But yeah, with all these bodies here, we're definitely going to be full. So you'll see, I'll get us up to about 70 or 80%, and then I'll stop so that... If in that final room there's any really cool armor, I'll take it. The reason I keep bringing that up is because the last time I did one of these, um, I didn't do that. I looted all the way up to 100%. And then there was this really cool armor with the or helmet with the mohawk, and I almost didn't, I almost couldn't get it because I was full. I was able to move some stuff around um, and get it. You know, but you're saying to yourself, why? Did you have to move stuff around? Why didn't you just drop it? Well, uh, Star Citizen, being Star Citizen, and being an Alpha yet again, um, I've had many, many, many times, I bet you it's happening right now, area too cluttered, yeah. So for whatever reason, there's a bug right now where if you try to drop items, I don't know if it's based on how many bodies and items are on the ground in your immediate area, I don't know what it is, um, but the game will actually prevent you from being able to drop anything. Uh, it'll just say, I area too cluttered. Um, that's a problem. <laughs> because, you know, if you ever have something on your character that you don't want on your character, you can't drop it, uh, that becomes really annoying. If it's a gun, you can carry it in your hands is one way to do it, and then you can um, hold F and look at it and then hit drop. Um, but that can be very frustrating for obvious reasons. Um, and I'm not sitting here trying to complain. I know CIG's building a very ridiculous game um, that has a whole bunch of stuff in it that most game studios don't even attempt. So I love this game. I love playing this game. Um, but you know, you gotta you gotta know what it is, right? And what Star Citizen most certainly is, is an alpha, uh, in every way imaginable. So, looks like this is going to be one of those ones... I dropped her, am I going to hurt? I'm going to have to 
like go through here, I guess. So when you do these <coughs> missions, um, there's two types of missions that'll that you'll get caves cave missions for. You'll get, I believe there's only two. There might be more, um, but you'll get ones that'll say clear criminal nest. Uh, those ones. You'll have a counter on the top of your screen, 10 to 20 guys, you'll go through, kill them. Uh, you won't have to worry about going into these back rooms where you have to crawl and stuff. Um, those uh, are kind of preferable to these bounties, uh, but I don't seem to get them as often. Um, the bounties, on the other hand, you'll see this guy is somewhere in, way back in the back of this cave. We are going to have to find our way there. I don't know, I might have gone the wrong way. There is some loot containers and stuff back here, so let me check that out. But yeah, I don't see any passage going towards this. him. What you don't want to do in these caves is just start taking random passages away from your objective. That's interesting, I've never seen that undersuit. It's kind of cool. I have a bunch of those helmets. I'm not gonna take the undersuit. Um, looks kind of nifty, but not cool looking enough for me to justify uh, making a bunch of money. Uh, important, right here. If you jump on this crate and you fall here, you will be stuck and you will not be able to get out. There's nothing in that metal crate that is worth getting stuck for. So we're gonna go back through that crawl passage. I must have missed the direction we could have gone. Now, because I started this video right when I get in the cave, uh, we'll have an idea of exactly how long it takes to do these missions. But the last one I did, um, the stuff I was able to pull out, if you pulled it all together, the Dolvine and the uh, Hat Knight, um, I made about a hundred and fifty something thousand um, just off the gemstones. So that's pretty damn good. Um, you know, getting almost 200k, because you gotta remember, we, we get that money from the mineables, but we also get the money from the bounty. Um, so this is definitely one of the fastest ways of making money that I've found. Um, let's kill the bounty first. That was scary. Cool. I don't hear any more movement. We should be... That should be it. Now let's finish filling up our inventory. Go sell all of this. Uh, another thing this game desperately needs uh, is a control click. So like in games like Escape from Tarkov, uh, that's the main one that comes to mind for me, but there's a whole bunch of different games, you know, that have functional inventory systems where instead of having to sit and click and manually drag each individual piece of ore to my backpack, I can hit control and, ooh, that's a cool multi-tool. I can just hit control and click though, on, and boom, it's in my bag. Um, I understand that this is like the 1.0 version of physicalized inventory. This is their first attempt at it. Um, it's the first implementation, so one would imagine and hope that uh, in the future this mechanic gets more fleshed out, but um, as it stands now, I just, I have a hard time understanding why a studio the size of Star Citizen that seemingly has a very hard time making, what is going on with my inventory? Did I just get my inventory bugged? Last time this happened, it came back, but I don't know about it this time. This seems pretty... Come on! Uh, 
I'd have to re-log in the ship to fix that. And the current ship I'm in doesn't even have a bed. It's weird that I can see all of his stuff, but it won't let me see mine. So I do end up being able to make some money off of this mission, but uh, as you guys can tell, Star Citizen is Star Citizen. Uh, as much as I absolutely love this game, there are times when um, you know the bugs kind of just take over. So uh, I'm cutting this commentary in after the fact because I think I just got so frustrated that I was like, you know what, I'm going to get some hand mineables, I'll cut up this video a little bit. Uh, but yeah, you guys, I'll, I'm going to leave um, the gameplay in here to kind of show you what I do to navigate when I have bugs in this game. Um, I just tried to get as much as I could into my inventory, and I said to myself, well, uh, we'll just see what it's all worth when we get back to the station. Uh, so, yeah, let me know uh, if there's any missions coming up you want me to try out uh, that might not have these bugs in them, but... Uh, I hope you enjoy the gameplay of me struggling against getting out of this cave, doing a bit of mining, uh, and then at the end we'll talk a little bit about how much I made at Port Alisar.
to sign landing bay. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. So here we are back at Port Alisar. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. As, as I said, uh, <laughs> I've had more successful versions of this mission, but I think you'll see here in a second, even with running into that inventory bug, um, we're still about to make a significant amount of money. So let's, let's see where we end up. So about 31,000 in Dolabine, not bad. And about 90k in uh, at night. So even with uh, us running into that glitch, we're still making about 120. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if there's any content or specific subjects you'd like to see uh, here in the future, uh, please let me know. Soul Citizen, out.